With schools reopening as the new academic year starts, Koboko District registers low turn-up of learners on the first week of the term. The situation is worse in secondary schools compared to primary schools where the turn-up is up fair. Sakla. According to some of the head teachers, though teachers have reported ready to deliver service, many learners are yet at home. My name is Sukeng Francis. I am the head teacher of St. Charles Luanga College, Koboko, which is located here in the heart of Koboko municipality. I want to say the turn up of the learners today is very unfortunate. In our day one, so far we received about 26 learners, which is very unfortunate. The few parents that brought their children today are all crying that there is no money for bringing children to school. Uh, it's worse now with parents who are civil servants because up to date we have not got our salaries for January. And as we see, people are still wandering left and right looking for money. Uh, last year we closed the school with enrollment of 485 students. So when you compare with the number that reported today, 26 is very unfortunate. You see something wanting uh, by the parents. The parents still don't take day one seriously. When for us here, we have even started teaching. We have a number of projects that the board has earmarked for development. Of course, the most important thing is to improve academic performance of the children. The board has allocated some good fund there to promote that too. In terms of infrastructure, we expect to finish the project of our wall fence from the face which you have seen there and the gate. We also plan to renovate two dormitories to start with and already some construction is going on in the staff quarters. We are working on the staff toilets. We are also trying to renovate our oven in the kitchen and a number of many other projects which we are going to do this year. Hopefully, if the parents cooperate and we get the releases from government on time, all this shall be achieved on time. Uh, the previous year, our performance was average. I remember there were 56 students that sat. We were able to get five in Division 1, and we had 29 in Division 2, and I think the rest were in Division 3 and 4. I don't remember now offhand. But of course, we have been doing our timely analysis. And according to our targets that we set last year, we are expecting to get at least not less than 10 in Division 1. So we are praying now that that target is met so that we take the school to the next level. Now looking at the past performance at UACE, that is A level, uh, last year our best candidate scored points 15 and there's a big hope that this year uh, the results that will be coming will be a little different of course will be better than the one of last year when you look at uh, our school is one of the traditional schools in the region actually even in the country it was started in 1953 and all of these categories of school have a lot of challenges that range from infrastructure academic and even discipline of the children but most importantly our biggest challenge here now is the infrastructure. For all these years, this school has never been rehabilitated. Like when you get out there, you see the roof. These are roofs that were put in the 1980s. And up to today, they are the ones we are using. And others are already leaking. So really the challenge is animals when it comes to infrastructure. But the rest are within our beans. We are trying to manage. And I think we shall pick up. Here, as we struggle to educate the children, we also have to do a lot to educate the parents. Because uh, most parents are involved in business and are not bothered about uh, children upbringing. You find the basic that should be taught at home, the child comes to school in secondary and the child does not know. So you have to start by training that basic to the child, which should have been done by the parents. Then you also go to the academic part of it and others. So it's really very challenging. And always we try here on a timely basis to meet the parents and also play that role of educating them. Most important message to the parents is they should learn to bring the children back to school on day one of the term. As stipulated by Ministry of Education and Sports, lesson also starts on that same day. Now you can imagine today the teachers are in the class, majority of children are not there. At the end they come after one or two weeks when they have missed a lot. So we encourage the parents, whether there is money or no money, 
let them bring the children to school and we talk, we see how these children can benefit from these opportunities. Otherwise, they'll continue remaining behind forever. For example, we visited Nyarilo and Teremga Primal Schools. Many parents were still collecting report cards of their children for the previous term. A reason attributes for the low turnout. Very much, uh, by name, I'm called Rika Subala. Uh, parents, uh, in fact, this is low turnout of uh, students in this year. For me, according to me, what I've seen, some of, uh, some of the parents, they have uh, used the, 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 these big equations as their priority for getting that school is coming near. Yeah. You find you, you spend a lot in this Xmas, New Year, eh? so forgetting this, that the students are going back to school, people are going back to school. So the only thing is, next, when it, you, are, you, are, you are planning, it's better you spend less in these occasions, it's better you uh, put your mind in the future of the students or pupils. So you spend m much money on those things, L like January. January you cannot get even January, to, it is a very hard month, where when you want to get money, it is not easy to get money. Like even some people who are even working, their salaries did not even enter this, this, the, the, the month of January. Up to now they are waiting for, for salary, it is not there. So it is very difficult when you do not uh, balance yourself in, in those occasions. We focus on our children to learn. That is the only one. My name is Lixo Grace, a student of Nyaro Secondary School, as you've seen. Okay, I'm very happy and I'm glad to be back in school because many are home. Many have dropped out of school, but me, I'm here in school. I'm very happy. Just the only thing that I'm not happy is the turn up of students. Most students are still at home. They are, the parents, you know, these festival seasons, they have spent a lot of money, which, is, which has just brought their budget down. Now I know they are just trying their level best to send the students, their children to school. But the other one, the side of the students, there are some students who are already even paid in school, but even others, they brought their luggage and they decided to go back home. And I don't know why it's, they, it's just bestly known by them, the turn up of teachers. Like teaching, ever since like Monday, if I can talk, we have not been taught. There is no teacher in class, just we are the only ones. And maybe it's because there are no students. The students have not even reached like 20. And more of it, we are candidates. I don't know why other parents are letting their kids to stay home while they are candidates. We have to do more that is needed from us. My advice like to the parents, you should watch your child, the moves of your child, the, how, the behaviors of your child. Don't let your child to be more than a student. You always make sure that he remains in the standard of a student so that next time when he comes to school, he will be with that morale of coming to school because he never did things which are taking his mind back like he will say that oh I have not finished I have to finish first before I come to school as a lady for us there are many things which we have to be with our basic needs and you know our life is more delicate than boys yeah and ours the most things which are needed in school the sanitary pads pocket money and more others mostly like pocket money most parents they send like ladies to school with just no pocket money they just come to school. You see in school, us ladies, there are some who will come with like school. They will come with pocket money and others they don't have pocket money. Now that, that one will bring problems between the, the one which is having pocket money and the one which is not having pocket money. The relationship will be poor and it will also lead to low performance. You will just start thinking of yourself. I'm, not, I'm now not having pocket money and others are having. Now how am I going to buy other things like other people? Just the only thing that I'm going to urge parents. You send your girls with pocket money so that they will not think of anything else to do. Just only academics. That's the only advice I want to give them. They should just appreciate whatever their parents will give them. Appreciate because you know your parent better than anyone else. If your parent gives you something, you appreciate it. Once you go to school, don't focus on someone's pocket. Focus on your own pocket so that next time you will get more than the one which you're having now because the future is on our hand. Actually, for me, new curriculum, it's great in other side because 
we learn a lot of things than the old curriculum. Just the only thing we should, the thing with new curriculum, new curriculums want you to put more effort, you have to research, you should be more in class than usual, like other curriculums. You know in other curriculums you can even not go to class, you can still pass. You'll get the notes from other people, but new curriculum you have to be in class, one teacher in class so that you'll get what is there. For me, I like new curriculum, because whenever you finish, you'll be just ready to do anything. For me, the only thing that I want the Ministry of Education and Sports to do is, they should always, like in a month, they, the inspectors should come to each school and inspect. They have to interview the students on how it is running, so that they will monitor how the teachers are teaching the students. Like in other times, the teachers can't do what is needed like with an Ministry of Education. Like the other time, we have brought some papers last, last year from the Ministry of Education. Those papers, even we have never ever seen them before. It made us even, we were just scared of the curriculum. I just want to say to the fellow learners which are out there is more research. You should always focus. Research always you be friendly to your neighbor schools so that you know what is happening you will get their papers and you try and you'll compare your papers and theirs that's the only thing that I want to tell the learners out there uh, by names I'm called Yekamose Skato the head teacher Daystar Secondary School Koboko um, I would like to encourage the students who are at home to struggle to come to school such that they begin the relations together with those who have already come. And I encourage parents to do their best to run up and down and look for fees. At least minimum if they could pay half from the beginning. And those who are not having the money at the cash can bring food items which can be considered because we have some body students here. The challenges we face as a school, uh, we realize that the piped water we are using is very expensive. Though we have uh, a borehole because of the number, we have to use both of them. That is one. Two, uh, we realize that always in the beginning of school like this, students take advantage of putting a week before the turn up. That kind of criteria, we need to avoid it as much as possible. My name is Oli Charles. I am the head teacher of Teremga Primary School, a school which is uh, in Kobo Commission. And uh, we have started this year with the children who turned up. However, the turn up has not been so good. The number that came is 485. That's for the first day, out of which there are 225 uh, boys and 260 girls who have reported. However, when we closed last year, we closed with enrollment of 2,300 children, and uh, that was what it was. Uh, however, compared to what happened last year, the turn up for today has been so low. And I think I will attribute this to the inability of parents to send their children for the first time. However, as a school, we had made a progress of sitting together with the teachers in order to begin our activities immediately. I'm very happy that out of, 40, out of 37 teachers, 34 reported, with the exception of only three, who informed me they were taking their children to school, meaning that the turn-up of the teachers has been so good, except now. Uh, the school is, of course, faced with the challenges that are there. One of it is, of course, low turn-up by school children at the beginning of lessons like this, which we hope will improve. Uh, we have uh, the coverage of the sanitary places, which is a bit also low, both from the staff quarters 
and also within the school. Uh, one, inadequate funds is order of the day, is what has been challenging us so much. Then, of course, the number of teachers, when you look at uh, the enrollment that we are projecting of over 2,500, we expected over 50 teachers, but on ground we have, we have 37 teachers who are there. Then, of course, some of these teachers are also sickly. Others have not reported simply because of their situation that is there. Then we have also a challenge of inadequate staff housing since most of the teachers also come from elsewhere, from their residence. It's also a big threat to the school. Sunday Esther, Education News.